ए शॉपकीपर बाइज ए नंबर ऑफ बुक्स फॉर रुपीज एटीन हंड्रेड इफ ही हैड बॉट फिफ्टीन मोर बुक्स फॉर द सेम अमाउंट देन ईच बुक वुड हैव कॉस्ट हिम ट्वेंटी रुपीज लेस फाइंड हाउ मेनी बुक्स ही बॉट इनिशियली सो हियर लेट द नंबर ऑफ बुक्स ही बॉट इनिशियली बी लेट द नंबर ऑफ बुक्स शॉपकीपर नंबर ऑफ बुक्स शॉपकीपर वॉट इनिशियली बी एक्स देन आई कंसिडर द कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच बुक कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच बुक I'll consider it as y. So the given condition is number of books. If we multiply with cost of each book, that is eighteen hundred. So x y is eighteen hundred. X y is eighteen hundred. So here this is equation one. Now they told if he had bought fifteen more books. Number of books I consider it as x. Suppose if we had bought fifteen more books, then the price of each book would have been twenty rupees less for the same amount. Like amount is same. If we had bought fifteen more books for the same amount, that is eighteen hundred, then each book would have cost him twenty rupees less. So now if I multiply this x into y, x into minus twenty minus twenty x. Plus fifteen y, fifteen times two thirty three hundred equals eighteen hundred. Now see with the help of equation one x y is eighteen hundred. I'll cancel because they both are same. Minus twenty x plus fifteen y minus three hundred equals zero. Now if I'll take five common. Or anyway, first I'll take towards right side. Twenty x minus twenty will become plus twenty plus fifteen will become minus fifteen minus three hundred will become plus three hundred. Now if I take five common, four x minus three y, four x minus three y plus sixty five six thirty sixty equals zero. So from here four x minus three y. Plus sixty equals zero. Equation two. So from two, I'll make y as a subject. Four x minus three y plus sixty equals zero. So four x plus sixty is three y. Four x plus sixty by three equals y. So this value I'll substitute in equation one. So x into four x plus sixty by three equals eighteen hundred. Now here uh, x into four x four x square plus sixty x, and again here eighty times three five thousand four hundred. So now here four x square plus sixty x minus five thousand four hundred equals zero. Now I need to factorize this part. So before that, what I'll do, I'll take four common in all the terms. So if I take four common, I'll get like x square. One second. So I'll get here like x square, and and here you'll get like fifteen, fifteen times four is sixteen, and here four ones, four three, four five. So the equation is here now, x square four if it transpose to the other side, look up zero by four. So the equation will be x square plus fifteen x. Minus one three five zero. 
Riefel factorizes further 1350 with the help of 13. I need to get uh, 15. So here we will write 2, 2, 6, 12, 2, 7, and 2, 5. So 675. Next, 7 plus 5, 12, 3 table. So 225. Again, 3, 375. So we need 15. Next one is here. 5 or you can take 3 3 times 25 this is we need 15 so still not so 5 times 5 now 5 nines if you'll see 45 5 and 6 is 30 so the factors are 45 x minus 30 x Minus 1350 equals 0. So the first two terms x if will take common. x plus 45. Minus 30 into x plus 45. Equals 0. x plus 45. Times x minus 30. Equals 0. Uh, x plus 45. Equals 0 x minus 30 equals 0. Now if you will calculate this further, x equals minus 45, x equals 30. See here, uh, number of books, it cannot be negative. It cannot be negative here. This is not possible. So, the number of books are like initially he bought is 30. So, how many books? In the question very clearly they are asking how many books he bought initially. So, it's clearly initially he bought thirty books.